mini lessons are 15 minutes long, follow a four-step rhythm, and progress through the gradual release model. Whether you're teaching comprehension strategies or writing skills, the same four-step architecture is the gold standard for planning and delivering whole class instruction. Within the first 30 seconds of the lesson, reveal what skill you plan to teach. Lessons are mini, so keep the focus narrow. A mini lesson addresses a small, granular facet of a complex grade level skill. The second step is the longest and most important part. Spend the next five minutes defining the skill and describing how it works. Although each lesson lasts 15 minutes, the teacher will only deliver about five minutes of new content each day. That's because after the teacher tells the students about the skill in step 2A, then she models how it works in step 2B. While demonstrating the skill live in front of the students, describe your thinking process all the way through. Talk through how you wrestle with and ultimately apply the skill. While pausing, hesitating, and troubleshooting in a think aloud, often students want to help you. For those who raise their hands during the I do, ignore them. Don't call on them. Tell them to put their hands down. This model isn't necessarily for the two or three students who can help you, but the other 25 students who don't know how to do it at all. Although students merely watch and listen during step 2B, we want their help in step 3. The next five minutes includes you applying the same skill in a second example. Again, work through the thinking just as you did in step 2B, but pause before giving the answer. Invite students to turn and talk. What do they think? Eavesdrop on students' turn and talk responses, anticipating that their first attempts may be weak and or wrong. Consequently, share out what you heard, massaging their ideas to create a strong example. The we do is more precisely characterized as I do again and you help me. After the I do in step 2B and the we do in step 3, it's time for the you do and step 4. Step 4 is only about 30 seconds and includes two components. First, restate the lesson's focus and then describe the you do task. What do you want students to do with the skill now that the lesson is over? Notice the parentheses around the you do label in step four. Although the I do and we do are executed within the 15 minute lesson, the you do task is accomplished outside the lesson. When planning what you want students to do, consider that they can't necessarily execute this new and complex skill independently just yet. Therefore, don't make this an all-by-yourself homework assignment. Instead, provide opportunities for students to first work through the skill in small groups or pairs, and always in class, where the teacher is there to provide lots of support. Throughout a multi-day mini-lesson series, you will shape and layer students' knowledge about a skill. Therefore, each day, they'll become more confident with the skill and will be ready for more independent assignments and eventually assessments.